Hey guys, welcome back to day two of the daily Advent unboxings. I'm Andrea, your host. So, we're going to start um, like we did last time. What is all over my glasses? We're going to start with my nine quilty boxes and go from there. Right now we've got 10, um, 24, 25 day ones that we've started. And the other eight, I believe if I've counted correctly, are 12 and 13 days and they'll start on the 14th. Let me pull out the big dog cleaner. Well, my first day was kind of a bust. I only had one, sec one session <laughs> scheduled and it was a no-show. <laughs> oh well. Okay, first up. Cheese. All these cheese advent. Oh wait, wait. I don't want to start with that. I want to start with the coffee. All these coffee advent. Um yesterday was the buttered rum. I thought it was okay. I didn't end up finishing it, so I'll have to say it was a two out of five. Let's go for number two. Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. Let's fingers crossed for this one that it's good. Uh, BRB. Yes. Cookies and cream. We'll say I think the coffee's a very light brew because I just barely add my creamer to it. And it's instantly like very light. Um, meh. I think I'm just over my flavored coffee obsession. I think I'm just over it. I think my tastes have changed. So, wah wah. Next. Delicious New York City. Yesterday's was not delicious. <laughs> Yesterday's I spit out. Let's see how number two is. Let's, let's hope it's better from here, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Probably my least favorite flavor combo in the entire U.S. is cinnamon apple. And I've got cinnamon baked apple popcorn. I'm gonna give it a chance though. There it goes. I'm gonna give it a chance. going on, delicious New York City? Ugh. I don't think, so far so bad on that one. I'm not seeing me. 159 and I spit the first two out. Oh my God. Oh well, taking one for the team, right? Next, C's chocolate. Just makes me smile every time I open it up. One, number two. Look how cute the freaking drawers are. wish um, we knew what was what, you know, 
Well, I guess you don't really know in a box of chocolates, but you could look at the little guide or whatever. Oh, it smells good. It smells really good. Delicious. Some kind of nutty nougat. Chewy nutty nougat. Yum. Delicious. <clears throat> cheese. All these cheese. Yeah, I'm not really tasting a lot with that coffee. Um, two. Memoletti? Memo, Memoletti? Memolette. I'm guessing it's some kind of sharp cheddar from the looks of it. That's my favorite. No smell. Mm. It was too skinny of a bite. It's very mild. I don't think it's sharp, like sharp cheddar. I would say it's a very mild cheddar. Very smooth. Mimolette. No, not familiar with that, but I like it. 24 shocking science tricks. This is Stella's. And there is a book. You don't have to scan the QR code. There is a booklet um, that just had fell out before I opened it. And I didn't see it. Day two is an envelope. And there's the QR code to scan if you lost your booklet or something. Looks like there's some kind of building craft. There's like a reflective mirror surface, a clear piece, and a box to construct. Let's see what this is supposed to do. We'll look in our instructions. Uh, go in there. That's your home. Difficult. Oh my God. Why won't you go back in your envelope? <sighs> okay. <laughs> Dang it. Day two. Magical piggy bank. Magical piggy bank. So it looks like when you put it together, because of that little mirror piece in there, when you put your coin in, it's gonna look like it disappears. Optical illusion. Insert a coin through the piggy bank slot at the top. Where did it go? Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Next, all these candles. I'm loving the pause feature that they've got now on iPhone video. 
Scented Candle Advent, number two. Chocolate chip cookie. I don't know if I'm, I don't think I'm smelling chocolate chip cookie. It does smell good. Maybe when it's lit, you know, it'll smell the chocolate. It just smells like a fall scent to me. It smells like spices. Of course, they all are in here together, so there could be some like scent crossover happening. You know what I mean? Kylie and the machine. So in labels. Okay. Day two. This is so nice. I mean, it's like freaking feels like leather or something. They did a really nice job on this advent. I'm totally mutilating it though. Okay, we have two more labels. Chef's Kiss. Two of these. Yeah, it says K-A-T-M on it. Kylie and the Machine. Two of them. Freaking adorable. Number two, when you sew something that's just oh so good. Chef's kiss. Love it. Next, I have Kristen's homemade advent that she made me and sent. I'm going to have to find number two. Here it is. So freaking adorable. Brown paper packages tied up with string. These are a few of my favorite things. It's soft. I'm thinking it's fabric. It's smooshy. It's definitely fabric. <gasps> Cute! Adorable plaid. Christmas colors, fabric, super softy. Christmas, it is from Riley Blake, Old Fashioned Christmas by My Mind's Eye. We have a fat quarter. Thank you, Kristen. I love it. I love it. Next. Missouri Stars, Jenny's Countdown to Christmas. It's so large and in charge. And we always have to hunt for these. They're not in any, they're not in order. Seems like I saw number two pretty close to the top though, previously. Is this 21? I had planned to find it and pull it out before, <laughs> and I didn't. I'm so sorry. It's hard to find, though, right? Hunting for it. Here it is. Number two. Number two. Whew. So cutely presented. Missouri Star Mercantile themed out box.
Oh my God, this is adorable. This is freaking adorable. Oh my gosh, my battery. My battery's low. Hold on. All right, I had to plug my phone in and adjust the brightness. Now look at this. Freaking adorable. It's a little tin container. Looks like an um, old-fashioned iron. And there's stuff's in there. My phone's plugged up, so I keep hitting the charger cable. Gosh. It's packed full of stuff. Oh, my gosh. First up, we have these adorable pins. I'm so excited right now. Let me... I gotta rip, rip into these. Oh my gosh, look at those. A butterfly, an owl, a mushroom, a house, and what's this? A ladybug. I love little decorative pins like this because I like to collect um, pin cushions. And then next we have these beads. Um, I'm guessing these are going to be in some kind of project later. We have these um, look like rhinestone or diamonds or something. Beads. Buttons. Beads or buttons. Looks like crystals, you know. We have all of these. We're gonna make a mini Christmas tree. I think this is gonna be to decorate a mini Christmas tree. We have all these ribbons and bows. We have all these bows. Beads, long beads and little dot beads in this little um, tic-tac container. Christmas lights. Jingle bells. Little chuck beads. There are three of those in here. And we have some buttons. Some are hearts, some are circles, some are stars. And then we have the, all of these tiny beads. And that's everything in the tin. Yeah, I think we're gonna be definitely using these in some other projects. Adorable. This is definitely shelf worthy in a craft room. Mine is in the future in my mind's eye. Right now I have a quilt corner. Okay, next. Lastly, why is this only saying three minutes? Oh, sweet Jesus, I hope I didn't mess something up. Anyway, lastly is the soft squares. B box, which is the 25 day one, um, number two. And while I was digging around looking for number two, I found two treats in there. Some Starburst and some Sour Bright Crawlers Trolls. Thank you. I shall enjoy them. All right, number, number two. I think I stopped the recording when I plugged my phone in. I think that's what's happened. <gasps> Holy crap. A rotating a mat in pink and round. And it's Sue Daily Designs. 10 inches in diameter. Rotating cutting mat for crafters on the go. This is put out by Riley Blake. I love rotating mats. I do not have a circular one. 
and I love pink. This is nice, right? This is nice. Oh, wow. That's what I call a rotating mat. This is next level. This is next friggin' level. <laughs> so much. That's everything for today. So let me think which one's my favorite of the day. This is a hard one, y'all. I think I'm gonna have to say it's the rotating mat for the win today, but it was a hard choice. Um, I liked everything except the popcorn that I got today. Oh, the coffee. It's disappointing. Everything else I love though. What do you guys think? What was your favorite of the day? Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe if you like to watch unboxings. See you at the next.